It's kind of last time out against Fylde. What are the positives do you think you can take from from two goals and a clean sheet? It's almost like the perfect result, isn't it? Yeah, uh, it felt it felt about being at our brilliant best. It felt relatively comfortable. I think we limited them. They had a couple of counter attacks in the first half, uh, which we knew they would do because they have them type of players. We spoke about on the in the pre match interview before the game about how they have quality and, and pace in the attacking line. So we knew that would be the case if we turned the ball over and, and approved that. Uh, but I think we dealt with it really well. I think our, our locking in in possession was excellent. So when the ball did turn over, we were pretty solid in turnover. So, um, yeah, good result. Excellent. We shouldn't probably should have been a little bit more than 2-0 um, on the on the uh, way of chances. But listen, it's a great result. As I said, and three clean sheets in the spin is, is no mean feat at this level. Nicky and Callum were both on the score sheet. What's the competition like between those two? Obviously, they play sort of similar positions. Obviously, instead of dropped into striker at some points this season. So, what's it? What's it like between them two? Uh, I think obviously, Gaff, I think Gaff touched on it in the after uh, in the sorry the post game interview. Um, we didn't really want to play Nicky for ninety against all the shot, but with the with the situation with yellow cards on the night, we we were forced into him staying on the pitch for ninety minutes. So we just wanted we were just cautious in terms of bubble wrapping him and making sure he's protected. We don't want him out for another length of time. Obviously, we've had to deal with that already this season. So, steady deputised excellently when he was when Nicky was injured and I think he'd done a good job again Saturday. So, But you can see the difference when you get a proper focal point up there and he's steady in his best position, which is obviously the 10 roll. So, for them to both score is obviously excellent for us. We've won six in a row at home, five on the bounce. What do you think the key has been to, to a run like this? To be honest, I think that the message has been pretty clear in all the interviews, um, pre and post match for myself and the gaffer. I think our performances have warranted this type of run. Um, there's been a few games, obviously, that we've lost away from home that we probably didn't get the rubber of green or moments went against us. But I think performance wise, I don't think the performance have changed from first game of the season to the 12th game of the season. So we always had the capability of a run like this and we're just going to try to keep it going. So we keep our performance levels up. We'll hope to get another victory tomorrow. Moving on to tomorrow then, obviously we've had a, a few players come back from injury, like you said, Nicky as well. Is there any other players that could potentially return tomorrow? Uh, Billy was back in training, full training today, so whether tomorrow's too soon, obviously we'll have to wait and see, but he's back in training, which is a big boost for us. Um, that other than that, everyone's pretty the same, so we obviously know a couple of longer term ones, but in terms of people coming back in the in the near future, Billy will be the closest, so um, we'll be pleased to have him back with the group. Boston are the opponents tomorrow. They've obviously struggled a bit this season, sit fourth to bottom. So how would you sort of assess them as the opposition? Uh, listen, they're, they're, they've struggled at home. Uh, I think they're bottom of the home form uh, within the league. But away from home, they picked up some excellent results. You look at the, the Sutton victory and the York uh, victories away from home are two brilliant results for them. Um, 2-0 away at York and 3-0 away at Sutton is an unbelievable result. So they, have, they definitely pose a threat. They create a lot of chances. Uh, I think they're in the top three or four in terms of creating chances. So we know the threats they bring. They got some excellent attacking players, but they're also really well organised and they really want to defend. So you can see that in them. They're full blooded. They'll be a tough game, even away at Ultra. They went under ten men, find themselves two goals down, and come back and draw two two. So it shows the spirit they got in the group. So doing an excellent job, um, and they'll pose a real threat for us tomorrow. It's no easy game, as we always say in this division. Yeah, as I was going to say, obviously this this league this season shows the competitiveness between between all the teams in the league. So anyone could beat anyone. Definitely, listen, as I said, the results I just touched on for Boston shows that they've had some excellent results away from home, especially. So we've got to keep our guard up. We've got to be out. We can't just expect to turn up and win any game of football. If we won six in a row at home, ten in a row, whatever it may be, um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter when, when a team comes to town because, they, as I said, their away form is excellent. So we expect a tough test. Thanks for your time, Connor. Cheers, guys.